Guys, they said only of if it broke Ashley's heart into pieces. <laughs> Over what he said to her about their relationship. You know that uh, they said uh, there was this uh, schedule that had been made long ago because they said it is six months schedule that they work with. Dr. Elizabeth have scheduled the event uh, starting from January. You know, and they said the schedule will end by end of this month. So from next month, we normally will take over if she returns back to the palace. So uh, in that particular schedule, they said Ashley will have an event in Quara State with the uh, Union of Ife. And we do know that over weeks now, or if not up to one month, if you check very well, you find out that KBS is doing his own thing these days. He no longer move with his women anyhow. And this is because a lot of people believe that he is angry with them over uh, what is going on between his relationship with Queen Naomi, such that, that they are not supporting him to bring back his wife and his son back to the palace. And uh, they are always finding a way to be seen with their husband in order to prove some of these bloggers wrong, because I believe that's the case. And they also want to be with their husband. So... And KBS is not giving them that opportunity from what we're hearing. They said the only person that is not uh, receiving it hot right now among the wife happens to be just Dr. Elizabeth. And that is because she played her card well ever since she enters the palace. She have never fight against uh, anything that will bring problem to the palace. They, she don't go against her husband's decision. So uh, they said Ashley too has been in Leba uh, Lebanon for a program but because she wanted to be seen with kbsc she wanted an opportunity to spend time alone with kbsc and she thought that event would have been a great opportunity that didn't have been scheduled before now don't forget so they say she left lebanon and returned back to nigeria for that event then a uh, few days to the event she decided to come and ask kbsc how do you want me to look which clothes do you want me do you expect me to wear you know to come and you know now, <laughs> and let's say, let me remind you if you remember that first period that KBAC got married to her, especially when Queen Naomi was not in the picture, you always find out that whenever she returns back from UK, KBAC will be flexing her, they will enter private jet, they will be moving from you know. So, but lately, <laughs> a lot of things have changed, things are no longer the way it used to be. So, but they are working hard to ensure that things went back to what it used to be when they were favored with the situation. So, they said she came back telling KBSC, KBSC, what do you expect me to wear? How do you expect me to look? Something of that nature. And they said KBSC did not even look at her face. You know, KBSC did not even uh, as an answer her the way she wanted it. And when she was curious, asking KBSC, are you still angry? Why are you this angry? How long is this going to take you to let go of certain things and live a normal life again with us? And they said... Uh, KBSC told her that as for that event, that I am not going any, I'm not going to that event with you or with any one of the wives again. They said she was shattered, and when she was trying to paint the situation, telling KBSC why, what have I done again, this and that, they said KBSC told her that if not for you, had it been you are a good person, that he wouldn't have married all of these women. One, his wife wouldn't have been out there. Two. His only son, his son, shouldn't, wouldn't have been out there and people mocking him, calling him names. If you are not in his life for destruction, they said she couldn't bear it. Allegedly, you don't forget. They said she couldn't bear it. They said KBS told her to her face that you are the reason why his life is a mess today. And if you check it very well, Nobody will blame KBS. In as much as they say KBS love women, or KBS is doing this, doing that. I believe that had it been that Pinomi was still in the picture, KBS wouldn't have married all of these women. Because first, he married them to spite Queen Naomi for leaving him the way she left. You know? And who caused it? It was Ashley, from the information we gathered, from what we heard, allegedly. Because that event that shattered the whole thing, that event that made Queen Naomi to leave the palace the way she left, and ever since then, she has not returned back. Is It is Ashley's fault. Even though a lot of people believe that there was spiritual work before the physical one. But we are talking about the physical aspect of it. 
it is actually that they used to achieve the physical aspect. So even if the uh, spiritual people that people that are involved spiritually deny it, Ash, uh, Ashley will not deny it. Because according to the information, they said this uh, that event it was a book a book launch book launching event in in Lagos, and they said KPSC and Konami have been preparing for that event for over a month plus. So the schedule came to they scheduled it long ago, and she was preparing. But because something happened, they said there was contract that uh, KBAC gave to Naomi's brother. And I don't know how there was mismanagement of fund. Uh, Naomi and uh, KBAC had a little issue a night before that event took, took place. So because they had that issue, they said Ashley now leverage on that to achieve her aim. Who knows who is planning which one? So... When uh, KBAC told Ash Ashley to go and call Queen Naomi the next day so that they will go for that event, the husband and wife do quarrel now. Yes, they can quarrel at night. If, if, if it is people that live together, that same night they might make up. Even if they don't live together, if they, tomorrow morning they might make up. There is no marriage that you cannot tell me that once in a while you and your husband will not exchange words or have some misunderstandings and all of that. So I don't see the reason why Quinomi's own and KBSC's own should be different. But that is why I also blame KBSC. He should have called Quinomi to say, is it because of that thing that happened at night? Then Quinomi would tell him that there is nothing like that. But instead, but the fact remains that spiritually they are manipulating KBSC and the whole situation. So when uh, I, I Ashley went halfway and returned back to KBSC, telling KBSC that Quinomi said she's not going, KBSC got angry, thinking that it was because of the yesterday event, and he left with Ashley. So they said, KBSC is now telling Ashley that, why are you pretending as if you don't know why I am angry, or I don't have any reason to be angry? That had it been you told me the truth, had it been that you are not selfish, that this thing wouldn't have happened. Let's forget about the uh, spiritual aspect. The physical aspect, if it is like this, that it happened, if this information is true, can't you see that KBSC have every right to even send Ashley out of his life? But is KBSC just understanding it? Maybe he, he, was, he just realized it because I don't see the reason why he should have continued with marrying uh, Ashley after this information. But it's like everything that is holding him have cleared off his eyes. And now he is making sense over this issue. Uh -huh. That was when they said Ashley's heart broke into pieces. When KBSC told uh, her that there is nothing that they can do to change what she have he shares with Queen Naomi. That they are that she is the major reason why she uh, his height, his life is in a very big mess today. And they say she was crying. Anyway, guys, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information. Okay, always bear that in mind. Thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. Bye. Love you guys.